obviously samsung is so proud with what it has done this time around that they had a special launch event for the exynos 2100 but can it be the real mccoy when compared to the qualcomm snapdragon 888 let's find out first when it comes to production process both chipsets are built on Samsung 5 nanometer AUV, which means huge gains in battery life for you, especially when your phone is in the 5G mode. Exynos 2100 and Snapdragon 888 also have integrated 5G modems. When Samsung said the Exynos 2100 is the best chip they've ever created, I was like, well, let's see how it goes. The Snapdragon 888 was the first ship to go official with the Cortex S1 core, clocked at 2.84 GHz frequency. The s 2100, on the other hand, happens to be the second Android ship to come with the Cortex S1 core, clocked at 2.9 GHz frequency. Comparing this to the s 2100 looks more impressive on paper. However, running these two ships on the Geekbench platform was a different ballgame. Exynos 2100 Go Core got 1088 points and Multi Core scored 34 75 points. Xiaomi Mi 11, that is powered by, by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888, got 1135 single core points and Multi Core point was 3818. So for now, in real life performance tests, the Snapdragon 888 is elevated. When it comes to GPU, the Exynos 2100 uses the new Mali G78 design with 14 core counts. Samsung did not maximize the full potential. How do we know that? The Kiwi 9000 used the same GPU but with 24 core counts. So the Snapdragon 888 Adreno C60 is slightly better in rendering performance and power efficiency. So when it comes to GPU, Snapdragon 888 Adreno C60 is slightly better than the Mali G78 found in the Exynos 2100. For you camera freaks, the Exynos 2100 has a lot to offer you guys. The image signal processor supports four cameras with sensors up to 20 megapixels more interesting is the fact that it can process four separate cameras streamed simultaneously remember the snapdragon 888 only manages three streams at the same time when it comes to artificial intelligence and machine learning both chipsets are smart and intelligent the esnos 2100 new AI engine harness its powerful triple core NPU to offer up to 26 trillions of operation per second. The Snapdragon 888 Exagon 780 AI machine also delivers up to 26 trillions of operation per second. So where does all this go from here? The Snapdragon 888 is still the real deal. It remains the real McCoy. But I'm happy that Samsung is finally catching up with the Exynos 2100 ship. It can only get better from their henceforth. And for once, those who live in region where Samsung flagships are powered by an Exynos ship can fully smile and look forward to better things henceforth from Samsung. More chipset comparisons are linked below in the description. You can go and check them out. And also remember that the sub to the channel will be so much appreciated. It's my idea. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon in my next one.